Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 98. What is MAWP and how to derive MAWP? We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. So now 98 structure. 98A talks about the MAWP of complete vessel. Okay, there are two things. When you talk about MAWP, first of all, you have to see whether I'm talking about a component or I'm talking about the complete pressure vessel. Okay. What is the difference? What is the MAWP of a component? How we can derive? Anybody remembers that? How if you have to de derive a MAWP for a component? How it is done? If not derivation, if you just, you know, one word, if you want to explain, what is MAWP in a very, very layman's term? If anybody wants to describe what is MAWP for a vessel or a com component? Pressure for design thickness, you know, maximum pressure, right, Himanshu? The maximum pressure taking capability, okay? Maximum pressure taking capability of that component or the pressure vessel. Okay. At that temperature and the pressure, right? In corroded condition, right? Because we are talking about end of life, right? We'll, we'll build upon that. Don't worry. So 98A talks about the MAWP. Here it one terms which is used is at the top of vessel. Okay. We'll see why that is. Okay. So it talks about that it's maximum permissible pressure at the top of the vessel. Okay. Adjusting for the static head. Okay. Now, now if you just read, it may become confusing. We'll elaborate that. Don't worry about it. We'll try to elaborate this point so before calculating the mawp of the vessel we need to calculate the mawp for the vessel part right because among all the parts whatever is the weakest that will become the mawp of the vessel this is a statement to derive mawp still it might not be very clear to all of you but to see that, we'll, we'll describe that. Don't worry. Now let us start from where, how we calculate MAWP. Okay, very basic. So just recall, like if they, we have a design pressure of 2 MPa, temperature 100 degrees Celsius, inside diameter 2000, we have tan to tan length of the vessel 4000. We have allowable stress at this 138 MPa. Corrosion allowance 3, joint efficiency 1. There's also a static head, okay, 0 0.01 MPa. Okay. Now, how we do the calculation? First of all, we calculate the thickness based on the pressure. So P, the radius is in corroded condition. Then allowable stress SE, 0.6 P. Okay. So here we are doing the calculation without static head. I'll bring that into picture. Okay. So first of all, to make it very simple, P into R as E minus 0 0.6 P. Okay. So this is the required thickness which we got. Right. Now, what minimum thickness I'll select? I'll have to add the corrosion lines, right? This is the minimum design thickness. Okay. So once I add the corrosion lines, the thickness is 17.67. Now, what thickness I'll select? Can I go with 17.67? What will be my next? Right. To select the nominal thickness. Absolutely right, Samir and Akash. So I'll select a nominal plate of thickness 18 mm. Right. Now, what should be the next step? I have nominal thickness of the plate as a 10 mm. 
now this vessel either it will be able to take the same amount of pressure or it has capabilities to take higher pressure no more no more means what akash so are you saying no more pressure so himanshu saying mawp calculation at 15 mm okay akash is saying means more yeah so 18 mm if i take for calculating you know like if i have to do the see finally what i want to do i want to check the maximum pressure taking capability right so at 14.67 my vessel can take pressure of 2 2 mpa right if my thickness is 18 the pressure taking capability will be higher right but can i take 18 in the start my vessel will have 18 mm thickness right when it is in the shop before operation right once the operation start my thickness will go on decreasing right so if i have designed it for 20 years and 3 mm is the corrosion lines after 20 years whatever i will be left with is 15 mm still at this thickness it should be able to take that 2 mpa pressure which i intended right so still that thickness should be more than 14.67 it should be able to take more pressure than what it is designed for okay if not more at least equal so equal or more making sense we did first of all with that pressure whatever that pressure was like 2 mpa we calculated the thickness right and that was 14.6 mm if there is no corrosion lines in the picture like let us see if I assess material with no corrosion lines required okay and i have a plate with thickness of 14.67 which i can directly use for fabrication what will be the relation in design pressure and mwp exactly there will be no difference right so mwp is not a term which is uh, you know completely different it's just because we took little margin in selecting the nominal thickness right because i it's it's difficult to get this 14.67 right even if there is no corrosion allowance included i may be able to get 16 mm plate okay so because in selecting the nominal thickness we are creating a margin okay so that margin will contribute to a little higher pressure capability you know little higher pressure taking capability of that pressure vessel that is all about mwp is it making sense guys hope mwp is clear it's a just in very simple terms the maximum pressure taking capability of that pressure vessel or the component okay great so for 15 mm thick we if we have selected 15 mm like 18 mm we selected as a nominal after corrosion it will be 15 so for 15 my pressure taking capability will be a little higher because 14.67 was the required thickness instead of that i took 15 so little margin in there and that is the reason instead of taking 2 mpa as pressure it is taking 2.04 yes slightly more right good enough i hope you understood this part stay tuned with us please do watch our video on how to derive mawp with static head